The liquid asphalt product you're about to load is hot and will be between 300 and 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Asphalt emulsion products are stored between 150 and 190 degrees Fahrenheit. When loading either product, be certain you have all required personal protection equipment, PPE, and wear it properly. You should have a long sleeve shirt with sleeves rolled down and buttoned at the wrist. Long pants without cuffs. Cuffs will catch and hold hot product should it get on you during the process. Pants and shirt should be all cotton. Polyester material will melt and stick to your skin if splashed with hot asphalt. Gauntlet cuff type heavy leather gloves that will cover the shirt opening at your wrists. Leather safety boots with impact resistant toes and soles that are both oil and slip resistant. Safety glasses with side protection, wrap around lenses. Hard hat with face shield attached. Observe the posted speed limit when entering the terminal. If not posted, do not exceed 15 miles per hour. All cell phone use is prohibited while your truck is in motion and during the entire loading operation. Leave it in the cab. Proceed to the scale for empty weight. The method of checking in with dispatch will vary from terminal to terminal. Contact the terminal prior to arrival and be sure to follow local procedures. Check in with the terminal dispatch to get your rack assignment for the product you will be loading. Let dispatch know if you will need additive. They will instruct you on what to do. Verify with dispatch that the last material in your trailer is compatible with the product you will be loading. Ask dispatch if you will be loading by gravity or pump. If your trailer could possibly have any water in it, or last contained asphalt emulsion or any non-asphalt product, and you're picking up liquid asphalt, stop. The residue is not compatible. Loading may cause catastrophic boil over with the potential for serious injury. Notify your company dispatcher and the person who ordered the load. Move your truck to a parking area and wait for instructions from the person or persons you notified about this. When cleared to load, drive to the rack, spotting the trailer so the load spout is lined up with a dome lid. Before exiting the truck, place the transmission in park for automatic transmission or in a lower gear for manual. Shut down the engine, put the key in your pocket, set the parking brakes, put your safety glasses on, have your hard hat within reach as you exit the cab. Using three points of contact, step out and close the door. Put your hard hat on. Verify the trailer is spotted correctly under the rack. If not, adjust vehicle position using a spotter if needed. Be sure to follow the truck shutdown sequence again before continuing. To prevent movement during loading, chalk the wheels. Then walk to the rear of the trailer and verify the unload valve is closed, capped with no sign of seepage or leaks. If loading cut back asphalt, be sure to securely attach the bonding ground cable to a clean, unpainted area on the trailer. This step is not necessary when loading any other asphalt or emulsion product. Using the steps and handrail, climb up to the loading platform and prepare to load. Do not be distracted by anything, including conversations with people on adjacent racks. Your full attention is required from now until you come off the rack. Ensure load spout is raised and secured in place. All valves are off, pumps off, drip bucket in place on the spout, and gangway is raised and secured. Verify that the trailer is positioned to allow the load spout to enter the dome opening when the lid is opened. Carefully lower the gangway, inspect for signs of damage, if damage is noted, do not proceed until any damage is reported to terminal operations personnel who will inspect the gangway to determine if it is safe to use. Open the dome lid, note the size of the heel. The heel is the amount of product left after unloading the previous material. Check for condensation on the inside of the dome lid. Excess condensation could be a sign of water in the trailer, even if it is not readily visible. 
Water could be trapped under a hardened asphalt heel. If you suspect this is the case, load about 200 to 300 gallons of asphalt and stop. Check for popping, cracking noises, trailer rocking motion, or any other signs water may be present. Notify terminal operations if any unusual sounds or motions are noticed before proceeding. Remove soil gloves prior to operating controls and valves. Locate the load to indicator in your trailer. Remove the drip bucket from the spout and set it out of the way. Guide the load spout into the trailer dome opening while slowly lowering it as far as it will go into the trailer. Secure the spout to keep it from jumping out when the pump is started. If additive is required for your load, it will be blended as the asphalt is pumped into your trailer. Terminal operations have been notified and will let you know of any special instructions for receiving additive. Silicon is also ordered for some customers. Pre-measured pouches will be available on the rack if silicon is specified. Add them before starting the asphalt pump. Remove soiled gloves prior to operating controls and valves. Lower your face shield. Open the product valve or valves to the pipe feeding the spout. There may be two valves. Open the valve closest to the tank first. If you are loading from a gravity-fed tank, slowly open the valve located at or close to the load spout and closely monitor the flow which should start as soon as the valve is opened. It is possible for a trailer to fully load in 10 to 15 minutes or less, depending on the level in the feed tank. Stay vigilant and be ready to close the valve quickly. For pump loads, start the pump and verify product is flowing into the trailer. When flow is established, you may briefly back away from the trailer and stand near the rack stairs, raising your face shield while in this area. Check the level. Lower your face shield before approaching the load spout. Frequency will depend on flow rate. Raise the spout slightly as the level increases. Continuous monitoring is required as the level gets closer to full load. Stop the pump just before the level reaches your full load indicator. Close the loading valves and allow the spout to drain. Once the flow has been reduced to dripping, release any chains or other hold down devices on the spout and raise it just high enough out of the trailer to attach the drip bucket. Be very careful not to drop the bucket into the trailer. When the bucket is attached to the spout, finish raising it, placing it back in the stowed position. Double check your dome lid gasket, make sure nothing will prevent the lid from fully closing and sealing, then close and tighten the lid for transport. Release any locking devices on the gangway, raise it, then using the means provided, fasten it in the up position to ensure it will not drift down. Make sure it clears the trailer. Depending on terminal piping configuration, if you forget to close a valve even when flow is stopped at your rack, asphalt can backfeed when a pump is started at another rack. Recheck that all valves are closed and pumps are off, just like you found them. When satisfied no inadvertent flow or leaks are possible, exit the loading platform using the handrail. Once on the ground, detach and stow bonding ground cable if used. Walk around the trailer checking for leaks, especially from valves. Remove wheel chocks, remove gloves, Open the cab door and using three points of contact, enter the cab. Remove hard hat and keys, start engine. Check that all gauges are in the normal range. Release parking brake and drive to the scale for way out. Once you have loaded weight, proceed to the designated parking area. Shut down the truck, set the brakes and walk to the dispatch office to receive the bill of lading and shipping papers for the load. In some terminals, the truck will remain on the scale while you get your papers from dispatch. Spot check again for signs of leakage. Finding none, hit the road for another safe on-time delivery. Any signs of leakage from your trailer must be brought to the attention of the dispatcher and the terminal manager to investigate before leaving the terminal.